I'm Cat Cosplay and today I'm going to show you how to easily make boot covers. These are fully removable. They come off the shoe. They are not stuck on. I'm going to show you how to make these. I am missing shoe rubber. I forgot I didn't have any. But if you want to make these non-slip you can add shoe rubber or tape or something to the sole so that you're not slipping on the fabric on the sole and also not ripping the fabric on the sole. But these are super easy to put together and pattern. If you'd like to not pattern these yourself, I have a pattern available on my web store. Please note these are not sized to anybody but me. I'll put some measurements on the pattern as well so you can know Will this fit you? Maybe, maybe so. Or maybe use it as a jumping off point for making your own. Or you can pattern your own very easily. Now these are made out of four-way stretch nylon spandex. If you are using non-stretch fabric, I would recommend putting a zipper or grommets or some opening down the back. Otherwise you're going to have a very hard time getting your foot in. So you could very easily add a zipper down the back or grommets or other attachments. You could put Velcro up the back if you want. These are super easy, super moddable, super great for covering your shoe. All right, let's go ahead and get into how to make this. Prepare for a lot of spare fingers. I went a little ham. Prepare for a lot of awkward foot on table footage. This is hard to film when you're filming by yourself. The first step in making boot covers is to make a pattern and to do this you're going to want to cover your leg in plastic wrap up to the point where you're going to end the boot cover. Leg thoroughly ensconced in plastic wrap so as not to tape yourself into this pattern and to allow the tape to release from your leg. It is now time to add tape! You are going to want to cover the entirety of your leg and shoe in tape. I'm using masking tape. You can use painter's tape. You can use duct tape. You can use whatever tape that is going to give you a nice solid shape to pattern off of. I prefer masking tape. I kind of wish I had wider masking tape, but I have this one inch masking tape. And so now I'm going to arduously cover my whole leg in tape. I'm not going to do this all on the table because it's actually really hard to do and you're going to want to have your leg in a neutral relaxed position, preferably standing when doing this so that the pattern is accurate. So cut to the fully taped up leg. Once the taping is done it's time to mark up your pattern. You're going to want to add where you're going to put seam lines and details and once you're done marking up the pattern, it's time to very, 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 very carefully cut yourself out. You're going to end up with three pattern pieces, one for each side and one for the sole of the shoe. To make your life a little bit easier, trace the tape pattern onto paper. This is going to make it easier to work with on the fabric. The tape is a little crinkly and moves a lot and you can't really pin it to fabric very well. So I'm just going to trace all of the pattern onto paper. Pattern's complete. It's time to pin to fabric and cut your fabric out. I did not add a seam allowance to this pattern, so when cutting out your fabric, make sure to add either 3 8 or half inch seam allowance around all the pieces. To sew together, start by pinning with right sides together, wrong sides facing out the two long sides. You're going to sew those together first with a zigzag stitch down both long seams. And then after those seams are sewn, you're going to pin on the bottom of the sole or the sole section and then sew that on too. The one tricky part about sewing this all together is sewing the hem around the sole section. You're going to have to sew that either 
before or after you install the sole section. I ended up doing it sort of both. I hemmed the sole section at the back before I started sewing it down and then hemmed around the back edge around where the heel of the shoe is going to poke through this boot cover. Just be careful, go slow around that edge. It's going to be a little hard to sew, but just take it slow and you'll get that edge sewn down. The last step in making this boot cover is just hemming the top and then you're ready to try it on. To get the shoe in the shoe cover, boot cover, very carefully insert shoe into fabric. Just be careful and go slow. You don't want the heel to accidentally rip a seam that you just carefully sewed. It will stretch over, so just be careful. Stretch and get that heel in and your shoe cover is on and you get to try it out. Thanks so much for watching. If you liked today's video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button, you know, so you can help support the channel and catch all new future videos. If you have any additional questions about how to make these boot covers or other things about cosplay, please leave a comment down below and I will see you folks in the next video.